Lastly, we were trying to figure out how to do our first column. Now, we tackle the last five, with rainy season already started. The land has turned to mud and the holes have filled up with water. We hit new obstacles every day. However, we're very confident in our abilities to overcome them. So let's get started. Two for her, one for me. Up we go. The aluminum forms for the columns have shown to work well. They aren't as sturdy as wood though, but we have made some wood framing in order to keep it sturdy and keep it stable. We've also tied them with wire around the top and the middle in order to keep them strong enough so that they don't burst open from the concrete. That's okay, we're happy with that. So first we want to throw it there. We had a terrible storm these past days, and so our last hole is, was full of mud. Now Eric's trying to get the last layer of mud. In the morning, there was so much mud in here. So we got five already done. We threw our lines again, so because they keep messing up. Now this is the last one today. We do the footing. Today is Friday, and then tomorrow we finish. The last column we have a couple of days like that so that the last column can cure a little bit because that guy's been curing for a while so best column ever and then hopefully we can start putting our beams Yeah, like this is the right consistency it's supposed to be. This is peanut butter. Then it was like liquid.
So we've done a buck and a half. It's about halfway through. Maybe. Yeah, what do you think? dumping it with the bucket because we want to make sure that it's heavy enough so that when we do dump it later on it doesn't move around because this can easily move and we don't want it to move so that's why we're doing it by hand at first and plus if you do it by hand it's loving fuse love it grows stronger with love okay put love in the concrete mm -hmm. loving the right, concrete Grunting makes it strong. It's going to be kind of cool in the morning to wake up and see fog down here. Yeah. This is it. Last column. Yeah. How do you feel? Are you going to miss cement? Not really, no. It's kind of hard. Unless we get those little twirly things. Yes. That does it for you? This is it. Last column, let's go. Heavy. We're finally at the ending. We put in the bolt. Our beams are six inches in height, so yeah, we have to measure them actually. We we have to measure that. He knew that. Okay, that's seven inches. And it's not pushing the ro blue rope. Yeah. Nice leveled. It was level, but now that Well, I'm... you're gonna keep using cement, so it's okay. You put them in there already, now we just gotta. Can I move it over? Yeah. Okay. You have to level it again. gonna move anyways. This is it. Appreciate the ending. So this column was five feet and three inches, no, and six inches, our highest, tallest column. This one was five and three. I don't remember what the first one was. Four, four and something. So this is the tallest. And the smallest is one of those, right? Because we used the same sheet. Yeah, yeah. Is that all of it? Okay, good. 
Well, you're gonna need to put more. Why? Because it has to go up to the. Oh yeah. To the line. We finally did it. Finishing all the columns was hard. Probably the most physically intense labor we've ever put ourselves through. The concrete was heavy, especially coming down that hill. But now I think we're both ready for the Cypress foundation beams. Hopefully it isn't that hard.